Um, I am so excited about this tutorial. Um, these are just some pictures of my mannequin head before I did the colour. And I'm just going to show you what you're going to need. So you're going to need some bleach. I always use the Jerome Russell B Blonde bleach and the 40 volt peroxide which if you're getting the highlighting kit is number one it's the strongest um you're going to need some either mesh or foil a pintail comb and some section clips um yeah and i'm ready to go hello okay i am really really excited about doing this tutorial for you um it's an image that i shared on the members area um a little while back it just really struck me i was like i just love that image so um a couple of members have, have wanted to recreate the look so i am going to show you on a different like a variation but just so you know how to apply the color and um i'll tell you what i'm going to use and you can see the results and yeah it's an adaption of that look um so i'm my mannequin head is asymmetric so it's cut one side longer than the other so i've been thinking about how i'm going to do this with the color and i actually think like the, the look that um i'm trying to achieve is that real like blonde section at the front like a light section at the front and then a darker color at the back i just i love this look i really love it i can't wait for my head to grow because i'm going to be all over that the thing i i love about it is is that you can just change and like you can keep the mane of your hair like quite a natural color and then change the colour of that front, play around with Bleach, bleach London. Um, so it's kind of like, without going fully in, you can uh, dip your toe in having some more fashion colours. So I am a massive fan of this. Um, because we are doing it on an asymmetric haircut, I am thinking, I was thinking about what I'm going to do, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it across the front here and then I'm going to um, do the shaved bit on her head so that it, it's got that even colour band through the front. Um it will it will work the same way. Even if you're doing if you're doing it on a centre party, you would literally like the mo <sighs> spit your words out, Joe. The key thing with this colour technique is um your partings and your lines, like your sectioning. You need your sectioning to be sharp and you need to know like Make sure you're keeping the front hair separate from the back hair. You want to know where you're going to part it. Although you can obviously swish the parting about, if you were thinking that you may wear it in a middle parting, I would go with the middle parting first because obviously that will be how it will sit even at the front. And then you can change that over. But because of this particular haircut, I'm going to do it on the side. But yeah, I would say probably, unless you are always wearing it on the side, I would go more in a middle part in. Um, so I have mixed up my bleach. So I always use the uh, Jerome Russell B Blonde Home Bleach. I love it. It's such a good product. Um, and that comes with 40... If you get the strongest one, which I would get, um, because you want this to lift up as light as possible. You almost want it to be like the palest, palest yellow that it can go. Um, so you want to go 40 volt peroxide. Obviously, when you're using bleach, you need to be careful that you're not overlapping it. So if you've already got bleach in it, you just want to be taking it down and then blending it where that line is. Or if it's completely natural, then you come all the way down. Um, and yes, we're going to do that first. And then afterwards, what I'm going to use. So we're going to do that. Um, you will need either some foil or some mesh packets because you're going to be taking a section like that. One will keep the hair out of uh, the way and also um, it will help to process the ends of your hair. So if you are lifting up colour all the way to the ends, what you'll find is that your root will lift up really quickly and your ends won't. So how we make that um, a, more even is we put the hair in either a packet or foil because it will just help the um, bleach stay moisturized and it will just heat it up a little bit to help it process um so yes yeah, you need a pintail comb and some of these some clips i've got crocodile clips and then i've got the long clips as well um because we're going to be using them to just keep the hair out of the way so breathe okay so let's start was putting in our parting so basically what i decided to do i was well, i'm in an hour and about what to do with this but i think 
Um, for this one, I'm going to just take that out and I'm going to use that bleach section as my as this side. So I'm going to just keep that out of the way. I'm going to use a water spray just to clip that back like that. Just put that back out of there. Like that. Back out of the way like that. And then I'm just going to get one of these long clips. And I'm literally just going to, whatever, I mean, you don't have to use one of them long clips. Whatever you need to just keep that hair completely out of the way, okay? And then I'm just going to spray that. You don't want to be getting this wet. It's just literally that hair out of the way there. Okay, and then... I am going to, let's just move that a little bit so you can see. I am then going to, where's my pin tail comb? So I'm going to then, because you, what you want to do is you want to look at how you want it to sit. So obviously because we're doing it over to the side, I want this much hair, I want to be able to see it. So you need to make sure that you're uh, bearing that in mind whilst you're um, sectioning the hair out of the way. So I'm thinking, because I want it to come from here, so I'm going to take that point there, but I'm going to come in quite deep, I'm going to come in like this, across. I'll pin that out of the way and then I'll show you what I've done there. So I'm going to come across here, put that out of the way there. Okay, so let's show you what, if we come around to the front there. So you can see I've taken this line here and then we've joined it across there Although that doesn't look too even, but it <laughs> it is. It's going to come right across here. And then we're taking it down to the top of it. In fact, I might even come back a little bit further there so that it sits a bit more even with the other side. So I'm going to come, so it's like we're going back there and then we'll go round to back behind the ear the same that side. Okay. Okay, so let me just show you that again. So what we've done, we have come, so we've got this shaved side here. We've come round across the front like that, and then it's gone in deeper. If you look how deep that's gone in there, so it's coming back, basically, and then we're ending up at the same, the other side. I might just take some pictures of that so that you can see. To the back of the ear, and then to the back of the ear. Obviously, the, again, like I say, we're doing this from um, on an asymmetric, so it will sit differently if you're doing it in a parting, but I will show you, once you see the results of this, or once you see the results of this, um you'll understand a little bit more what um yeah how it's going to turn out okay so Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just literally take slices across, but obviously we're painting it on the scalp. We want this flash to come right from the scalp. So if you're worried about getting it on this hair, then I would just make sure it's really secure back and then put maybe some uh, cling film or something there. So we are going to, I'm going to try and do this with this hair. So I am going to do it coming this way so that the packets don't get in the way when we put the colour on the rest of the hair. So I'm going to use this clip. Clip that out the way like that. Okay, so this is our first bit of hair. So we're going to start on this side rather than the shaved side. Um, the reason we're doing that is because um, the hair close to the scalp will lift really quickly. It's the ends that are going to take longer. Um, so that is why we're doing that. We'll get our packets ready. I'm just going to get a little bit of bleach. So we're going to obviously paint it on the scalp like that. So it's on the head. So the reason you're not just whacking it on is because you want to make sure it's even and you want to make sure that the bleach lifts the hair even. So you need to do that. Take a bit of time and do it in sections. I'm just going to get this. Uh, 
her hair, um, although it's a little bit lighter on the end, it's I'm because I want this to sort of go literally as light as it will go. So I am going to take that down. Also, hair is shorter. You need to bear in mind when you're doing bleach on your hair, what your condition of your hair is like. Also, if it is long, what you may need to do, if it's long and really dull, is actually do the ends first, which makes the whole procedure quite fiddly. You need to go through, do all of this, leave it on the ends, which I'll show you. So you would do this. You would go through and you'd get your thing, your packet, and you would paint it from a sort of a centimetre and a half down on the end, close it up and leave that for 20 minutes and then come back over and do the roots afterwards. Um, because the ends, like I say, the roots will lift up a lot quicker than the ends. So what you should do if you've got dark hair all over, all it is what you should do if you've got dark hair all over. God, I'm making this so much more hard work than it needs to be. Okay, so let's just show you how it's done. But if you, like I say, if you, if your hair is dark, then you want to be doing the ends first and then coming back and doing the roots. But because we are not, the ends of our hair are already light. So we're just going to go straight in. Okay. So I'm going to just paint that like that. So we've got to make sure that our sections are thin enough um, that the bleach will go through and obviously that it's not going anywhere near the back. Make sure it's off the face. Okay, and then I'm going to just stick that over like that so it just keeps that away from the rest of the hair. And then we go again. So doing this with foil will probably be easier. Um, I just obviously had the mesh pack up here. So again, you're just going on the root. Make sure it's not on face too much. And then I'm going to leave them open. I'm just going to stick it across like that so that it does keep this bleach away from the rest of the hair. Like that. Because this is starting to come around, you can just sort of fold those in. I don't need these to be this long, to be fair, but they're the long ones I've got. You can use short ones or you can cut yourself shorter bits of foil so that they're not so in the way. So again, you're going to come around here. Just move this around a little bit more. bleach go make we want it to the root so we want it to go there on the root in fact what we need to do is get that underneath so that it doesn't go on the face so we put that there i mean if you get little bits on the face it's not bad obviously you don't want to be getting it in the eyes and if you if you can not get it on your skin then it might just irritate it a little bit but okay so we're going like this so we're going right up so you want it all up to the root That's okay. And then we're going to close that up there. And you can sort of push the bleach around like that in the packet because just to make sure that it's fully sort of covered and you've got no unproducted um, hair in there. So 
So we're going to go underneath like that just to make sure that it's on there. On the top like that. If your ends are really light, then don't take it through to the end. As long as you've got this the colour you want. I just want, for the impact, I want you to see the result. So I'm going to take it all the way through. Because it's a mannequin head, there's a lot of warmth in it. So for me to get that nice end result, I need to take it through to the ends. But do be cautious. I mean, if you are a member, you will have heard me talk quite a bit about bleach. So um, the rules still apply. It's just a different technique that I'm showing you. So the sections are really thin. So you have to, you know, it looks like one of them colour results that, you know, you just slap it on. But you do need a little bit of patience to do it. Um, taking your slices thin so that the product goes all the way through. And, you know, just so that you're looking after your hair. So here, because the hair sits across, I'm not even putting a packet in, but I'm just laying it, still taking my sections so that you know you've got getting the, the product all the way through. But this actually just sits across nicely here, so you don't need to fiddle about. It stops it hanging so much in the face as well. I will cover this over at the end so that we don't get the colour from the back on it. It actually sits round quite nicely while you're doing it like that. Obviously, if you're doing it in the uh, centre part, in it will um, you'll just be doing the same, but you'll just be doing it round both sides. And you'll see how this result is, see how thick it is, and you'll be able to work out 
how thick you want it in your own hair. Um, because you don't have to do exactly the same amount as this. You could go less or you could go more. Depends how bold you are. Clean that up around there. Oh, and then we're just going to get the last little bit here. Okay, and then we're going to come around this side. Obviously, if your hair, if you don't have a shaved side, you'll just continue doing the same. Here we have the shaved side, so I'm literally just going to paint it straight on. Okay, voila. Okay, so let me just take a couple of pictures of that so you can see the application. Right, so I'm gonna just use now a couple of these just to cover that up like that. So whether you use foil, clean film, whatever you want, I'm going to grip that in there so that stays into place. You're just literally keeping that bleach away from the rest of your hair. Put that over there like that. Um, and you can do that. You can fold that back out your face there. You haven't got a like that so yeah you're just basically keeping that separate from the back of the hair okay so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to get the other so i went for um a l'oreal excellence 
4.02. So a dark brown. Um, because the mannequin head is quite coppery, the two will cancel that out. So it will just be like a nice rich brown colour, which is basically what I want um, just to get the same image as what we have with the picture. So you can see how I've done that at the back. You may want to leave your natural hair. It just depends what your own colour is, but just so I can show you the contrast. Um, yeah, and that's how it's all placed in. Uh, very exciting. So you remember you want your bleach to lift to a pale yellow. So that will take like about 60 minutes, but the time, don't stress too much about the time. It's the result that you're after. Um, so that's basically it. So what I did there at the basin, um, they crack me up in videos, is I then washed off the bleach first. Um, I did record it and it didn't record, but that's annoying. But anyway, so what I did is I rinsed the, the bleach off first. And once that was all out, I then wet all of the hair and then massaged the dark over the bleach for literally a couple of minutes. So it toned the bleach. So the colour at the back toned the bleach. If you are doing it like that, then just use another toner. Um, and we can talk about that if you're not sure what to use. And yeah. I hope you like it.